Good morning. I'm Dipalika from Purono Kolkata Golpo and I'm here to narrate a story. A folk tale from Bengal, The Quick Witted Barber. Now long long back in a remote village lived a barber with his family. He was a young barber but he was very very lazy. All day he would sit with his pocket mirror and his broken comb and he would go on combing his hair admiring himself and that's all he did. One day his mother lost her temper and she hit him with a broom. The young barber felt very insulted. He immediately left home and he also decided that he was not going to get back unless he had gathered a lot of fame. With this in mind, he left home and started working. By the time it was evening, he reached a forest area. Initially, he was a little hesitant to enter the forest area, but then he thought he's going to pray to the gods and goddesses for the entire night and they are going to save him. And in the morning, he's going to again continue with his journey. With this in mind, he entered the forest. The moment he entered the forest, he met a Brahma Rakshasha, a demon who was a Brahmin. Now, the Brahma Rakshasha was very happy seeing him. He started dancing a wild dance. Now, the young Baba was very scared, but he was resolute that he's not going to show his fear. He controlled his fear and he also started dancing with the Brahma Rakshasha. After a while, the Brahma Rakshasha stopped and said, Wait, why are you dancing? He said, Why are you dancing? Brahma Rakshasha said, I'm dancing because I'm happy. I get to eat delicate fresh meat tonight. You're here. Now you tell me what is your reason. The young Baba said, Well, it goes like this. The son of our king is very, very sick. And the doctors have told the king that the son will get cured only when he drinks the blood, the heart's blood of 101 Brahma Rakshashas. So the king had made this announcement in his in our kingdom that whoever gets him the heart's blood of 101 Brahma Rakshashas is going to get half of his kingdom and he also can get married to his beautiful daughter. Now I have collected already the heart's blood of 100 Brahma Rakshashas. One more to go and I can happily go back to the king and get a lot of wealth and, the, and also the uh, king's daughter's hand in marriage. The Brahma Rakshasha was not very convinced. He said, really? And how do you intend to do that? Said, Simple, you're here. You're the you're the one who will complete the quota. 101 Brahma Rakshashas, remember? He was intrigued because, you know, these Brahma Rakshashas have special power also. And he said, oh really? And how do you intend to go about taking my heart's blood? The young Baba said, don't worry. I've already captured your soul. The Brahma Rakshasha was in doubt. He said, Show me, where is it? The young barber immediately took out the pocket mirror and showed it to him. And the Brahmarakshasha saw his image. He was very, very scared. He thought, yes, yes, this man has captured my soul. He immediately fell on his feet and he started crying and wailing. And he said, please, 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 I, I will not trouble you. I'll go away. Please leave me. Please give me back my freedom. The young Baba did not listen to the Brahma Rakshasha at all. Finally, the Brahma Rakshasha tempted him with wealth. He said, look, if you leave me, I'm going to make you a rich man. The Baba pretended he was not interested inside. He was very happy, but he just went on showing that he was not interested. He said, look, where you're standing behind you, there's a tree and under that tree, there is wealth worth seven kings ransom. So if you leave me, I will give you those. All those pots are yours. They are filled with expensive gems and jewelry. So then the young Baba, still showing he is not interested, said, Okay, but how will I carry it at this hour of the night back to my village? The Brahma Rakshasha said, Look, I am going to help you. I am going to carry that wealth. I am going to carry you. I am going to drop you home and I am going to come back. 
Prabhupada still didn't want to show. He is very excited and very happy from within. He just kept a cool front and he said, Okay, show me then. And the Brahma Rakshasha, at that very instant, took all the wealth and also carried the young Baba. And lo and behold, they were in front of the Baba's house. Everybody was very happy seeing the Baba back at that too with so much of wealth. And there was merry making and laughter all around. And the mother was so, so proud of her son. Now, Seeing all this, the Brahma Rakshasha said, Now can I go? I've done my job. Now this cunning Baba, he thought, why not make him do some more work? As it is, he was lazy. So he said, yes, you can go, but there's one more thing you have to do before you go. He said, okay, tell me what is it quickly. I want to go back. He said, you have to cut all the paddy from my field. Within a day's time, you have to leave it with me and then you can leave. I will give you back your soul. Brahma Rakshasha Mideki agreed. He had no other option. His soul was captured already. So he went ahead. He went to the paddy field and started cutting the paddy. In the meantime, what happened was another Brahma Rakshasha was crossing that way. And he saw this Brahma Rakshasha involved in this menial job, which is beneath their dignity. And he said, what are you doing? Why are you cutting paddy here? Then he told him the entire story how he was trapped by this Baba and all that. Now this passerby Brahma Rakshasha did not believe in it. He said, look, there's some kind of magic, some kind of trickery involved here. Come, let's go and find out the truth. This Brahma Rakshasha said, no, I will not go. I'm scared. I have seen this Baba's powers. So you go, I'll show you the house and I will continue with my work. He said, okay, show me the house. I will go and I'll come back in a jiffy. So the Brahma Rakshasha showed him the house and he started and he kept on doing his work. In the meantime, what had happened is these people, this Baba's family had organized a feast. They wanted to celebrate the homecoming of the sun and they had organized a feast and the entire village was invited. So cooking was going on and there was a lot of laughter in the air. Now there was a huge fish kept in the kitchen and a cat that was prowling around that house, smelt it and it entered through one of the windows, broken, it was broken, the window was broken through the broken windows and started eating the fish. Now the barber's wife saw that and she came running with a sharp knife. Immediately the cat ran out of the window. But the wife knew how, the, how cats are. She knew that immediately after a while the cat will come back. So she stood next to the window waiting for the cat to come. She was determined the moment it enters, she's going to cut it into two pieces. But who enters? The Brahma Rakshasha wanted to peep in through that broken window and see what's happening inside. And with a shaggy hair, he just put his head inside that window and the wife, the barber's wife thinking it was the cat, slashed the nose of the Brahma Rakshasha. It was in a lot of pain and it started howling, crying and it immediately moved out of the of the kitchen. It, it ran, it ran and ran and it did not want to show its face to this Brahma Rakshasha because, you know, he had lost the battle. And the, the other Brahma Rakshasha heard him crying and howling and he said, I, he thought to himself, I told you, do not go, there will be trouble. He diligently cut all the paddy and he went back to the barber. Now, the, now he said, see, I've done all your work. Now, please, can I go? So the barber said, yes, you can go. And see, I have left you free. I do not have your soul anymore with me. And he took out your, his pocket mirror and he showed the other end of the mirror. And there was no image there. So the Brahma Rakshasha was convinced. He thanked him and left the village forever. See how he got benefited because he had not lost his wit. Even in the face of fear, he did not lose his senses. He tried to tackle it. He tried to be in complete control of his self. So he could think. He could think clearly. And he could come out of, his, of this danger. And he also could at the same time earn a lot of wealth. I think that's the most important thing in life. 
how we control our fear and how we face all that we have to struggle with bravely thank you so much for listening